This is Bumper to Bumper TV. I'm pleased to introduce... So ladies and gentlemen, the new 2016... Ladies and gentlemen, please take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the 2016... The auto industry is coming to realize that the Chicago Auto Show is where the money and the consumers are. Chicago, make no mistake about it, is absolutely vital to our success. Consider this, Chevrolet has been the number one, the number one selling brand in Chicago for the last four years. And of course, General Motors used the event to unveil a new version of the Silverado, the Custom, and a redesigned Chevrolet Equinox crossover, which has been a success story for the brand. For Toyota, this was the time and place to let the public see what the 2016 Avalon will look like. It is clear that the design language used in the Corolla and Camry is moving to the flagship passenger car for the brand. Kia continues to use Chicago as the launching pad for variations of the Soul. The latest is a four-wheel drive concept, the Trailster, that would be used both traditional engines along with an electric drive for the rear wheels. Hyundai not only showed off upgrades to the Veloster and Sport Coupe and the Elantra 5-door, the company is also rolling out another use of app-based technology that was developed in-house. We offered a, a smartwatch app so you can remote start your vehicle just by use, utilizing your smartwatch. Um, and anything that comes out, the great thing by developing it in-house, we have that flexibility to meet the customer needs. Mitsubishi continues to work on new models and in Chicago, the company showed off another concept, the GC PHEV, a hybrid electric platform to fit into the SUV class. They also the teased a major rebranding initiative over the next few months. Concept. We just wonder when some of the concepts will actually be built, since there hasn't been many new offerings from the lineup recently. In the auto industry, timing is everything. And right now, gas prices are down, demand is up. A perfect time to start talking about trucks and SUVs. For Acura, the conversation will be about a redesigned RDX small crossover, which will get more power, more technology, and a more upscale finish to compete in the entry luxury segment. Corporate cousin Honda is placing a big bet on the new version of the Pilot, which gets a badly needed redesign away from the box on wheel style that defined Honda light trucks. The Ram brand which is enjoying success as a standalone division of Fiat Chrysler, is going after luxury truck buyers with a new Laramie. As you can see, the Ram Laramie Limited is a black tie alternative to our popular southwestern themed Laramie Longhorn. With new car and truck sales predicted to top the 16 million units mark for 2015, it will be worth watching to see which of these offerings consumers will take home with them. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.